If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high tide and we can't lose. Come and draft away. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> so the brothers here. Yay. Again. Again. So I don't think he's very impressed with our um, all lights at improvements last time. But, um... <laughs> so we found him a drawing. <laughs> we'll go through the schematics and see what's going on on this boat. <laughs> so obviously our shoot's not used to boats. It's more commercial plumbing. Yeah. So I think today is going to be assessing everything, seeing if we've got everything or seeing if we need stuff and just see how far we get. To be continued. Yes. So hopefully we will have some form of heating before winter. So we've got our Stewie here. Can you see him? Good looking one. I know I'm good looking. <laughs> Someone thought on the last video that you were brothers. My brother? No. <laughs> My brother. My brother. It's Gemma's brother. Anyway, so we're back here. What we normally do is set Gemma loose with a paintbrush, but we haven't really got time. I mean, we've got a stew here for one day. It's very limited what days he can come, so we're going to try and put the boiler back in. I've done a quick repair on the base, um, so we're going to be basically putting some, some silver foil behind here for now, and then once all the pipes in and stuff like that, we'll insulate around it and stuff like that. I think it's mainly like noise prevention, but so we're going to crack on with this. So it's not um it's not on the radio, it's Stewie singing this. So if there's any like data, what do you call it? <laughs> copyright. Not copyright, this is Stewie singing. We're not used to hearing people sing. So we've come back to Stewie, we've been, me and Gemma have just been like, I don't know, what have we been doing Gem? <laughs> not much. Not been much, tired, you know, Gemma's been so special, she's not been painting. Anyway, so <laughs> Stewie, because I had a quick look at the system, I was like, I haven't got a clue, there's just loads of pipes. If it was wires... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed to vape, are we? No. Not allowed to vape. So if it was wires, I could probably get my head around it, but all these different pipes and different valves I've not seen. So we left Stewie alone and he's been doing some drawings. Yeah, basically we've diagnosed that we've got a, yeah, no, that's, we'll throw that one away, that was the, the rough one. That was take one. one. We've got a, yeah, <laughs> we've got a direct feed system here, which, I mean, Simon, you've already tried it and we know that it circulates. Oh, it's we did have a bit of an incident with it, yeah. which is where predominantly we are going to replace, well, all your safety features, components, uh, your PRVs, we need to... Pressure clean. relief valve. Well, sorry, well, yes, well, I shouldn't, asking. right, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, pressure relief valve. That will resolve or prevent what happened, what happened with Simon last the time. The incident. Yes. The um, incident no one knows about. Uh, oh, I do apologise about <laughs> it. I've been filmed and was on there. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I was running this beginning of the year because um, we've got a fantastic um, burner. What do you call it? Is it a burner? The yeah, a burner from EOGB. Um, that was basically running. Yeah, I was going around. 
I was trying to get the very the very forward radiator working. So I, me, not knowing what I'm doing, I closed all the valves off on the radiator, apart from the very end one. And then it got hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. And then all of a sudden there's this burst of burst of pipe. Pressure needs to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> burst of pipe in the engine room, but I'm like, ah oh, crap. And I had to like run underneath this like steaming hose to turn it off. But I should have just turned it off on the thingy, but you know, thing like that I do. Um so yeah. And the problem with that is there was no safety cut off. Yeah, because I, I took was... the, I took the safety valve off to fill the system. <laughs> We live and learn, I suppose. <laughs> so that's why I do a lot. I'm having nothing to do with this. Gotta get, gotta get an expert in. So in relation to the system, yeah, we've now identified components needed. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go downstairs and start making connections up where we can, and then next time we'll be filling up system. Big turn on. Yeah. After we've <laughs> replaced it, the components required and yeah, expansion vessels and bits and bobs which need to go in the system, and we'll take it from there. I hope that's sufficient. Ah. It's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name, anyway? He doesn't like the camera. Just leave the brother. Yeah, just leave me in the background. Sorry, me what's, his, what's his name? Stuart, you can't give out say names on YouTube. Stuart, the 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 pipe fixer. I don't know. See, I can't say Hap, which is what my mates call me. Hap. I'll let you. Yeah, it's got hairy something plumber. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Stuart's That's going horrible. to go and look at my pipes. Uh, we're going to do as much as we can do today and then he's probably going to give me a shopping list and say, Gemma, you need this and you need that. And then hopefully next time he comes back, we'll have some work and heat and ready for the winter. Heating day. So we basically fitted the boiler, didn't we? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> We just put it in there on the floor. We've done all the electrical side of it. Done the electrics, done the, the diesel side of it. Um, connects, up some, connects up some pipes now. Yeah, so day playing with pipes. Mm. So what are you doing there, Stewie? Currently working out what fittings we've got to connect <laughs> the, uh, a pressure gauge onto oh, the system. Oh, just a we have got a box of fittings. We've got a couple of boxes of fittings that were sent to us. Yes. I'm gonna go and dig them out. By a lovely, lovely guy. So I think they're gonna come in handy today because we're like, oh God, we bought as much stuff as we needed to buy. You but there's a go. couple of little things that are now coming out of the woodwork since we're getting in, stuck into work. So I'm gonna go find them box pipe fittings. <laughs> Are we winning? Yeah. So all we got to do is put all them parts now into there. Yeah. <laughs> and what's in the bag as well. And we've left the instructions at home. <laughs> <laughs> and brains on the doorstep when we arrived. <laughs> <We're off the laughs> yeah. So unfortunately, we've actually got the generator running. Because because the sun's gone away, we don't get that much daylight anymore. Um, I'm trying to keep the batteries topped up because they've been getting a bit low and a bit low and a bit low and a bit low. And we do not want the batteries. We want, to, we want to get back up to 100%, but we're also considering fitting what, four more panels, maybe, and um, like a small wind generator. So it should be interesting because we've always got wind. That's his fink and face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. He's a uh, scratch his head, having a good think, working out where everything goes because it's not very easy and straightforward on this boat. <laughs> and you're not used to working with boats, are you, Jim? No, no. I'm not used to working on domestic systems anymore either. No. So, we're doing a lot of pre planning, assessing everything before we commit. Just once we start, it'll fly in. Yeah, so once, once he's got his head around it and he goes, right, okay, we'll connect it up and it should work. Hopefully. Your kid's sister will be warm. Yay! <laughs> My niece and nephew. Come on, muscles. Um, we've basically added the three pore valve into the system, which is predominantly the most important thing because it's, we've now got a electrical mechanical way of controlling the domestic hot water and the heating system where before it was done on a valve we don't want that um, now we're just working out on putting our circulating pump in um, bypass will be coming next and then we need to connect in to our 
return side of the system. Cool. Easy. <laughs> yeah. He makes it sound very easy. Yeah. <laughs> right, you're in my workspace now, Lego. Alright, come on. Bye. <laughs> See you in a bit. Ages, have no, we? We did it once. We, yeah, we've never, we've never right rubbed anything off the we board. We roost, we roost stuff on it. So, on it. frames in the bow, well, we're never still working on them, and the stringers. Temporary fix to roof, done. Was that a success? Uh, well, it hasn't been wet in here the past couple of weeks. No. Get off. She ever made an error when she was installing this board? I haven't peeled off the protective <laughs> film. <laughs> so. We're going to just rub stuff off and then in a minute I'm going to peel it all off and start again. Paint and party, 4th of September. Well, that's we well, that's well <laughs> gone, hasn't it? Alright, that'll do, okay. So I do some while you're doing that. Okay. Battery boxes. Done. Done I know, stop, don't, we won't rub, right? What we'll do is we'll cross out and then okay. I'm going to start a fresh list in a minute. Okay. So, engine wiring. Yep. Done. Because that was the battery boxes. Okay, we're still, obviously we're still not clean. We'll never be clean, will we? No. <laughs> we're still, at, well obviously we've not painted any bilges no. or holes because we're still doing one no. there. Poop deck sheet. Done that. Done that was ages that. ago. Heating. That's an interesting one. We're hoping by the end of today, <laughs> we can uh, cross that one off. Okay. Sheet the bow. Done. Check. Anchor check. Yeah. Done. Anchor, check, cleat, check, yeah. done, yeah. done. Wi-Fi aerial fitting. I did it the other day. Yay! For months and months it's been sat there like, we need to do that. Yeah. It was when that. I was up dead late, well, when I was there with my own the other week, mm. I was got a bit bored and thought that. And no do you know what? Since we put that up, we get strong Wi-Fi all the way to the bow now. Oh, do you know it even reaches the car? <laughs> <laughs> right, skin fittings. No, <sighs> we need to do them now, we need to do them. Not now, not right now. Yeah, well. Deck, why, the why did we even put deck replacement on there? I don't know. Because that's like next year. Or the year after. Beam shelf, same. Scrap the exhaust. We did a bit of scrapping of that, didn't we? <laughs> Scrape, okay, I can't spell. Um, so obviously we painted the starboard side exhaust at the painting party, but we didn't touch the port side. That's not gonna be this year, So enough. If that's not going to be this year, so no. I'm not even crossing it off. I'm going to start a new list. And also, we didn't, there's a section of the front port that, needs doing. that we didn't have a chance to do on the first painting party either. Yeah. So, we've checked off quite a bit off the list. Boom! What's the issue? Uh, connections to get a gauge into the system. Uh, we've got no 3 8 connections, but we have a flexi which will work, so I think we're going to have to use a flexi to be able to top up and test. So and is, then, the, is this just temporary? Yeah, you don't well, want to the, the rule state, I think, you're not meant to have that in a... In As a, a permanent a fixture, permanent you know, fixture. you don't want it. And bearing in mind, we've got a manifold at the top of the pressure vessel in the cupboard behind you, um, which we blanked off, which we can fit a pressure gauge on at a later date. This now, is just now we know filling what, and... Now we know what the thread is to go into it, just want one of them, don't we? Yes. So we're going to fit it as a temporary measure just to be able to fill up the system. Fill up the system, test the system and monitor the pressure of the system. You know, we need to make sure everything's components are working as they should. And next time we come back with the correct fit and we can take the flexi off. Flexi will be, yeah, 100% will be coming off and then we'll put a gauge Definitely. at high level here on the manifold. Within eight years. <laughs> <laughs> he might not, but I will return him here. <laughs> Should 
Shorts. Okay. What are you doing? Sugar jammer today. <laughs> ah, you put something in your mouth. Some less, too. <laughs> you have to get that gable away as well. Okay? Yeah. So remember we're putting antifreeze in there. That was just my idea, because I thought we'll be, we'll be leaving her, there'll be no heating on, so can't freeze up, can it? But we're using our little portable whale 24 volt pump, pumped into where the light used to be. <laughs> so doing the now, job, lads. So we're now... It's doing the job. We're now start, starting to make some pressure. Is that going on? Very, very slightly. I mean, one bar, one and a half. Well, just just shy of one bar, now, mate. So obviously, there's only one way for me to be able to show you guys that the heating is actually working, and that's with a thermal camera. So <laughs> last time I used this on here, everyone's like, "That's not a thermal camera; it's just an app." No, it is actually a thermal camera on Simon's phone. So we haven't we're just filling the system now so it's not heating it's not hot so our cold radiator is can you see because of my reflection so it's still cold so we'll have a look at that in a minute and see um yeah am i hot <laughs> so well, uh, we can use the thermal imaging camera to um, see how hot the radiator is actually getting and to be able to show you, which is good. So I'm going to go upstairs so, now, sorry. Turn, okay. the, turn the system on, which then will ignite the circulation pump and then start moving water. I just I want to see the three pore valve drive before we start putting heat in, to be honest with you. Okay. You know, so we can, at the minute we're in um, what I'd say is domestic hot water mode. Oh, we are, yeah, yeah. We're driving across now. Right, we've just drove across the heating. I can hear it bleeding, it's bleeding air now, so you can hear a pressure drop. Yeah, I mean, at the minute, we've got it right with the pipe work. Yeah. I mean, yeah, do you know what? You might as well, because we've got a push fit connection on that side, so let's get some water circulating around. Yeah. Which it has done. So I can now hear it moving through the cylinder. The cylinder. Yep. Beautiful. Now, do you want to try both? Okay. Get it into the mid position. So it should go to the mid. Yeah. Now. It's driving. Hey, you're quite good at this <laughs> shit, aren't you, pal? <laughs> it's, it's in the mid position. Do you want to put it into heat and then we'll try firing it up? The moment of truth. 1.17. What have we got our safeties? Three bar? Yeah. It's not going to click. What temperatures? Just, this just click so it works. Just, just, you'll let it click. That's it. That's it. Is this that's that's it. Fahrenheit? I don't know. It's <laughs> got to be 100 degrees Celsius. It wouldn't be going up to 250, would it? No. And then you'll let it click now when, when the cell opens on this. It's just doing like a. It's a bit of a check. Yeah. You let it click. Burning diesel, baby. <laughs> no, yes. I can feel a tiny bit of something. What can you see, Jim? Sorry. Jim is like the predator. <laughs> what? What's that flew up to? Seventy. Seventy-five. Yay! Got some warmth, only a little bit. Oh, yeah, but it's not going to be insist. The water, like, water's going like that, isn't it? What's your pipe at, Jam? Oh, I'll check you. 42. Now, oh, which way is it going? Right. 
why we don't want anything on the left side. It'll, it'll still try. Well, you'll get a little bit, and to be fair, it shows yeah. 17, 18, no. how many degrees. So on the, the right hand side, this of that side ball, here. that's where we want to be getting our heat, that should be heat circulating. So there we go. We have the hot radiator. So you can see it on the thermal that it is warm. So at the moment, at the hottest point, we're at like 40 degrees there. It's only just gone on, so. But you can see that it is working. So we are winning on the heating system. Um, all of the radiators are working except one. And this is a radiator that is under these stairs, but it goes all the way behind the cupboard. <laughs> so there's no way of getting to the valve on the radiator at all. So I'm trying to work out how long this radiator is and I'm trying to find the valve. So I'm just trying to take up this floor to see if we can get to it that way see how long it is and then we might have to I mean, take the back off this cupboard to be able to get to the valve i don't understand why anyone would put a radiator there and then oh. build a cupboard and cover all the valve and stuff so see if we can get to that but this is the only one so even if this one doesn't work we have got heating which is great so i'm trying to work in this cupboard <laughs> and all the screws are flat heads which isn't great. I'm in the tightest little space. It's coming. Oh, I can't see because of me hurt. Okay, so. I've got all of the screws out, so I don't understand why it isn't coming out. You know what, I'll forget all this tomorrow or when you're Oh! Yay! No, I've got the top off. Oh, you're having a giraffe. What? Blanked. Yeah, the back of the cupboard. Oh, I thought the pipe was. No, there's just no radiator behind there. Ah. That's a lovely carpet. Check out that carpet. <laughs> to be honest with you, they don't build, they don't put, they don't build all this room, do they? And then put the radiator there. The radiator's been there for a long time, yeah. And now then they've gone. I don't know. Let's put a cupboard there, yeah. And then what they've done is they've turned the radiator off. You, you don't, don't want to be heating the back of. You don't cupboard. want to heat your cupboard, do you? Sorry, you still, Sorry. You don't want to heat your cupboard. Join in, bro. No, so, you should. I've done my bit. You so, what we need to do, Stewie, is put a radiator on the other side of that wall. And we've got the pipe work there, we'll, yeah. well, as long as we can connect on that side. Yeah. We can put a radiator where my kitchen is, yes. up here. No offence, I'm a plumber, I can put a radiator wherever you like it. <laughs> Hold on a minute, can, I, can we have a radiator on this back wall? Because this is dead space. I don't want to have to relocate my kitchen again. So, can we have a radiator there? Yeah. Answer your darling wife then. <laughs> Simon says yeah. We can go there. There you go, we can do that. There we go, there's the plan. Because that's where we sleep up there as well, and that's the only room that hasn't got any radiators. So, we'll do away with that one. So there we go, I'm going to go radiator shopping. We have heat. But, we've got heating. Circulating. It works, it's roasting. <laughs> um, it is too hot. <laughs> yeah, so obviously we've got a radiator behind the fridge, not an ideal place for it. We don't really spend much time in the wheelhouse, do we, apart from no. making brews, which warms it up when we've got the kettle. So we're going to switch that one off. Already done. Done? There we go, he's good, isn't he? <laughs> so we're going to put a new radiator up here, there, big massive one. We're going to get a new one for there. Because we've got, we've got enough space for the radio, not Yeah, it? for now, this is temporary until we actually remodel up yeah. here for when we get into actually building the, the, the niceness. So I'll get a nice big radiator for there and we'll be toasty. All the radiators in the kids' cabins are working, Team so effort. they're going to be happy. Team, Team effort. effort. 
I, all I did was make the turns for you put. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you done the control side of it. Oh, that's yeah, that's your baby. Tricks, so that's your of, baby. That weirdly worked. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank, just thank you very much, Stewie. Honestly, no worries. You. No worries, no problems. You're good man. Cheers. Kind of kids getting caught well. You, 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 you're, you're, in a month's sister. time, you won't be saying that. Oh, no, when no, you're no. walking around your box, he's going, I can't take any more clothes <laughs> off. Can we please turn the heating off? And then well, I'm Gemma's having a ball. But the paint dry is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to keep me warm to keep me working during the winter. So and it keeps it's more the boat, productive. Keeps the boat dry, yeah, it? he's doing it for the boat. I'm doing it for myself. So jobs, radiator and the rest of the hot water side. Yeah. Next. And we're done. Right, I've refreshed my board. Uh, last time I sort of went ahead and I was like, jobs that are going to be like years down the line and what's the point in that? So I've done like jobs that uh, uh, we're going to do like over yeah. the winter. Yeah. So we've still got the copper roofs to put on the stringer that we've done. Yeah, last time. Yeah. A different time. A different time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously we've still got frames and stringers in the bow section to yeah. be replaced. Yeah. Install new solar panels. Have we got any? I need to go and buy them. <laughs> Install a wind generator. Have we got that? No, I need to go and buy it. But we need, I, I need to do my research on that before I buy it. Mm. So that's our dry day, when it's dry, stuff we can do, and when I've, when I've bought the stuff. Yeah. Uh, wet day, clean the engine room, heating. Woo! <laughs> yes, job off the list. <laughs> Paint the inside of the hull by the engine room because that's all, all the woodwork there is perfect, so we can do that. Sand and varnish our original bulkhead. Oh, yeah. Um, we can paint inside the hull at the port side of the front of the bow. Yes. Yeah, still sections, pretty, pretty, there, pretty yeah. much all there. Yeah. And water systems and tanks is something I want to look at over the winter. So we've got all the, t all the tanks about the workshop, aren't we? Yeah. So it'd be almost good to dig them out, give them a jet wash. You all need clean. Give them all a good leak pressure test, and then. They can basically go back in the holes. Now, actually, actually, we moved all the ballast from the very nose, didn't we? And put it, and put it in the position of the water tanks. Yeah. So basically, because we're almost finished on the frames and the stringers down there, we can actually move. Oh, great. I've got to move all the ballast back now. <laughs> so I want by next summer to be able to be have a shower Ooh. on the boat. Mm because we'll be spending more and more time here. It's not yeah. nice when there's no like hot water to wash your hands yeah. or well, if you get uh, now. you get minging. Mm. So we've got the capabilities to make the hot water now. So we need to get the water yeah. tanks back in yeah. so I can have a shower. But then the only issue we've got is getting enough water over here to fill our tanks. But to have a shower, you can use rainwater. I can, yeah, so. I personally think we need to do a water collection system. That is definite. And, and then that go through filters. Yeah, also, we, yeah, you know, because you can do water filtration to as a drinker, can't you? Yeah, I'm not really first. We can carry drinking water. We even in our camper van, we 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 bring our own drinking yeah, but water. But to so. be able to have water to have a shower, yeah. so mm. that's going to be the next sort of, you know, by next summer I want to be able to have a shower. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Oh look, there's something on this to-do list for you. Oh. Ready? Press the subscribe button. They've already done it. I'm sure they've already done it. If yeah, not. They will. But if you haven't and this is yeah. the first time viewing our channel. Give it a nudge. Press it. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks to Stewie. Thanks, Stewie. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Thanks bro. Bye. Yeah.